Ten minutes. Here we go. Okay, very good. Here we are. Okay, welcome. And in the audience, welcome very, very much to this program. It's a, ple a great pleasure to welcome to the program John Rafferty. He's the president of a very interesting organization that we're going to be focusing on, uh, the Secular Humanist Society of New York. And he's also the publisher uh, or, or the editor of uh, a newsletter that's very rich. I've been over it and so forth. It's called P. And I might just show this here at the outset. And it's a very interesting organization, a, a humanist organization. We're going to be talking about it and about humanism and about science and about the human condition. And John, welcome very, very much. To Thank you for having me here. Delighted if, to be here. What if you could share? Have you been a humanist all your life? Share your background a little. Born yeah. Raised, a little education. And then yeah. how do we get to humanism? And where do we go from here? <laughs> That's the best question of all. Yeah, um, yeah I guess I've been a, a humanist all my life. Mm. I'm interested in know it. That's yeah. all. Uh -huh. I was uh, uh, raised nominally as a Catholic as a kid, uh -huh. uh, but uh, didn't really pay that much attention to right. it. And um, just sort of ignored it all my life. Right. Uh, in the mid-90s, uh, 1990s, when I saw that there were religious fanatics who I were, or f was afraid could possibly take over my country. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Then I, that, that's when I woke up and I said, what, what the hell is going on? Into Mr. Falwell, maybe? Yeah, Some exactly, Mr. Things, Falwell yeah. and the Reverend Robertson and... Uh, and 700 uh, Club? Yeah, yeah, right. Tammy, uh, Tammy Baker, Fr Baker, and they were clowns. I, I, I didn't care about them oh, because that, they that, were not okay. they were not political. I see, right. Okay. That was yeah, not what right. bothered me. She wore a lot of pancakes. Yeah, she was silly, and yeah. uh, he was almost as silly. What bothered me yeah, was the people who were actively involved in politics. Right. And when I saw that forty different congressmen, that is, representatives and senators, uh -huh. on the steps of the Capitol, right. honoring the Reverend Sung Young Moon oh, wow. yeah. in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. I said, what is happening to my country? Right. Now, yeah. then I hear Reverend Falwell and, uh, yeah. and uh, uh, Robertson and uh, Newt Gingrich yeah. saying, Secular humanists are the problem in America. I mean, they were saying specifically, secular humanists are the reason we have high divorce rates, that we are the reason that we're losing uh, place in the world, uh -huh. that we have unemployment, they, yeah, whatever. They said, blaming it on... I figured, I have to meet these people. I was going to say, you knew which banner to gather under, right? right? Yeah, right. Well, somebody <laughs> put me on... I don't even yeah. remember who. Yeah. Somebody put me on the mailing list for peak. It was... It was existing then, yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, well, yeah the yeah, point yeah. being yeah. that I got a couple of issues, and in one of them it said, uh, some of us are going to uh, go to the 92nd Street Y on this Sunday in, in, in April. I guess it was uh, 1998. Uh -huh. and, and here, uh, Edwin O. Wilson speaking on consilience. Oh, yeah, beautiful and, book, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. And, and it was the big buzzword mm -hmm. of the 90s yes. was consilience. I figured, yes. yeah, I, I, I want to I understand you, this. Were you intellectually engaged as a young man and so forth? Did you study no. at university? Did no. you take no. degrees I, or not? Sure. Oh. I... Um, or the family was the family uh, discussions around the table. No, 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 no. Hey, you, w my family we discussed anything. Okay. But there was not a literary or an intellectual tradition. Okay. No, my parents were both immigrants to America, not uneducated, not at all. But With that they're name, not. I presume they came from Poland. <laughs> Making a joke, son. I got Making that. I yeah, got right, that. Right, right. Well, as a matter of fact, my yeah. father from Northern Ireland yeah. and my mother from Southern Ireland. Uh -huh. And they met on the boat coming over. No here. kidding. Yep. Like yep. the Titanic. Yep. Yeah. 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 Except it. No, no. It, it I meant turned, the love story. I know. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, I yeah. know. But it, it turned out a little bit better than the Titanic. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, they married and raised me and my sister uh -huh. here. Uh, nom as I say, nominally Catholic, but they okay. they never went to church. Yeah. But you, uh, matter of fact, 
when we were in our 30s, yeah. my sister and I finally figured out, why, why did they keep sending us to church? Well, that's the question we could ask. Yeah, because they never went. It was a small apartment. Oh, to get rid of you, to get a little free time. Uh -huh, oh, right. you got okay. it, okay. Right, right. We finally figured it out. Yeah, it took yeah, us yeah, it yeah. took us twenty five years. <laughs> <laughs> you really thought you could have done more. Right. They had Saturday matinees at the school. Yeah, I suppose, but you know, movies, they they knew if we if Saturday. they kicked us out on Sunday morning, you know you they were already in yeah, bed. Right, so. <laughs> right, right. The hell. Yeah. Um but as I say, anyway, mm. I, I didn't pay much attention mm. to religion. Then I went to the lecture. Oh, and it said, some of us were meeting for lunch yeah. before the lecture. So, uh, at, at a restaurant, a lecture by Wilson, at Wilson yeah, uh, right, right. in 98 uh, at the 92nd Street Y. Yeah. So I went up, and I went up early, and I, and I went into the restaurant, and at a table in the center of the bar, restaurant, there were about a dozen elderly people mm -hmm. sitting around, I figured. And I walked up, and I said, uh, is this the um, Misfits and Malcontents Marching Society? <laughs> and several of them laughed. Yeah. And I, when they laughed, I figured, okay, I'm okay, in the right, in the right, 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 yeah. right place. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as far as the lecture is concerned, I still don't know what the hell conciliance is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, ne I never did figure that out. Mm -hmm. But I met them, had a good time. Uh, about six months, I, I joined the organization. About six months later, uh, there Would that was a, be the, 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 the Secular Society? Humanist Society of New York? You joined right there. SHSNY.org. And they had sponsored <laughs> the thing? At the, not, not no, 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 no. They just no. were just attending. They were just there. I just see. attending. Okay, great. Okay, good. And yeah. um, mm -hmm. about a dozen of them. They're just mm -hmm. attending. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so, as I say, then, then uh, the, an, an mm -hmm. article appeared. Matter of fact, the article was about hate crime. The article in the newsletter was about hate crime and the extension of hate crime law to broader areas. Right. And I, I'm against hate crime yeah. law. Yeah. I'm against hate crime, but I'm against hate crime law also okay. because my my simple thought on it is, this is America. Yeah. We don't punish people for what they think, yeah. and hate crime law, to my mind, essentially is saying. We're punishing someone for what he thinks. That's a, that's a danger. Yeah. It is a danger. I, and and I, was, I was thoroughly surprised yeah. that this extremely uh, conservative Supreme Court upheld yeah. hate crime law. I was really quite yeah. surprised. Yeah. Okay, it's the law yeah. of the land. Yeah. But we already have, you know, if you beat up somebody, you get charged with assault. Right. But you right. get an extra five years if the person is a member of a disadvantaged group. Mm. I, I don't get that. I, well, at any rate, yeah. that's a side issue. Yeah, that is a... It is a side issue. But yeah. I wrote a thing. Yeah. Which I wrote a rebuttal, which mm -hmm. itself got a lot of rebuttal. All right. And then the then editor said, you want to write some more? Okay. So I started writing some more. Yeah. A few years later, I joined him as co-editor. And then he, he, his eyesight is going. And so he asked me, and I stepped in as editor. And once I got... Involved, I, I started really getting involved, and wow. with with uh, um, a couple of other people, I started working very hard uh -huh. at bringing this organization, which mm -hmm. has been around since 1988, but which okay. was in the doldrums. Right. Okay. Bringing it back to life. Okay. Yeah. We've doubled the membership in the last few years, and we're Good. we're doing a lot of things, and yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and you count yourself a humanist. Then. Yeah. Uh -huh. Secular humanist. Secular humanist. Uh -huh. There are lots yeah, of... right. Humanism came out... It's a out, big word, yeah. Yeah, it's mm. a, but, but American human, the American humanist movement mm -hmm. came out of uh, uh, ethical culture, really, essentially. Okay. And the New England uh, liberal Christian Unitarian? tradition, the Unitarian, yeah, yeah. Unitarian yeah. Universalist. Yeah. Yeah. Unitarian Universalist yeah. and humanist, there's almost no distinction okay, yeah. between them. Yeah, that's Except where I'm rooted. They have yeah. a, they, they, they have a church. Yeah, yeah. And well, we have I the have ethical a, center on Central Park West, which is a hell of a venue. Which it's a I great just thing, yeah. and I just yeah. I just ran a panel there. Yeah. August twentieth. I know you did. And yeah. and it was great success. Uh -huh. Two hundred and eighty five people. Yeah, I know. Showed up. I, I don't know how New York can function out. without it. You know, I mean, it <laughs> yeah, really is good. Ethical culture. I mean, ethical. Um, 
you know, the the, uh, the culture. Is that a movement? Is that was that? Is, how would you do you know that venue that we have here, the Ethical Culture Center? Is that what it's called on Western? How did they, what's behind that? Is that a universalist uh, Unitarian? No, or? universalist Unitarian. Well, I don't know you exactly, know? Okay. but they they seem to have developed simultaneously. Does it have roots in American history? That oh, kind yeah. of thinking back oh, to the yeah. old days. Goes of colonial... all the way back. No yeah, question yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, right. You know, the the Congregationalists of New England yeah. came out of the worst part of American religion ever, uh, the, the, the Puritans who yeah. started hanging people yeah. and, you know, yeah. for, for disobeying church laws. Mm. But the concept of congregationalism, mm. uh, which goes back to their concept of the earliest re Christian religion, which is that each congregation has only one authority to report to, and that's God, mm -hmm. okay? So there's no hierarchy. Mm. Out of congregate, out of that concept, there uh, developed a liberalism mm -hmm. in New England Christianity. So that even though the people here in this town might think that the people over here were heretics, mm. there was no one organizing authority mm -hmm. that that um, that that could impose its its opinions and its jail sentences or floggings or whatever on, yeah. on the guys over As there here. Had been so there is a yeah. there's a there's a uh, there's a, there's a liberalism in New England which mm. is represented by the transcendentalists by by Emerson and yeah. and, and right. Fosdick and, and you know and these people were very very yeah. important and yeah. that melded uh -huh. with the liberal Jews mm. of New York okay, who right. came right. in the the later part of the 19th century right. uh -huh. and you had a very important word in my life now is nomophagia, not being nomophagia. able to remember names. Yeah, it'll only okay. get worse sometimes. What's his name? Yeah. Felix Adler. Oh, yeah. Felix, Felix Ad yeah. Adler, uh -huh. who was uh -huh. really, who was, it was uh, um, the young Turk leader of the reformed Jewish movement, mm -hmm. and he wanted to go even further. Yeah. And Felix Adler, mm -hmm. along with other liberal reformed Jews mm -hmm. and uh, with the with the congregate with the inheritors of the congregationalist uh, uh, idea and the transcendentalist, they got together and they made a they made ethical culture, mm -hmm. and um, now that's what and it's that's where it is. And yeah. humanism comes out of that. Oh, humanism is there, and then there's uh, humanism, and there there. Uh, we, we we've been here two hundred thousand years. Apparently, they tell us now the geneticists, the species, and there has been characteristic of our species uniquely. It would seem, if I may, uh, is a self-reflective consciousness that's able to ask rather large issues about what's it all about, Alfie. That right. kind of thing yeah. that probably is not characteristic of, say, a crocodile. <laughs> as it lulls in the sun on right, the banks. You right. see, there's a consciousness, and that consciousness was contained four million, that's 200,000 years we've been here, 10,000 generations. I'd done a program with uh, the great polymath, you know, Isaac Asimov. He said in posits, this now, this is what, 2011 of the Christian era, this is, uh, this is the defining generation he was saying, after 10,000 generations, roughly, that we've been here, 8,000 years of civilization about, uh, wandering and so forth. And this is the defining one. And uh, we were contained four to five, seven million years ago in the evolutionary process itself. We were contained in what was called uh, uh, Australopithecine. Yeah. We did not exist except through a future relationship to what existed then in terms of the evolution up the hominoid line of consciousness, right? right? Then we get to Homo habilis, and then we appear, right? Uh, which is quite a kind of measure that, uh, that is characteristic of this. Now, with that self-reflective consciousness, one can't know, but you could posit Cro-Magnon cave probably sat around the fire and said, what the hell is it all about? And then they started trying to understand things in what would be a beginning. How, how did we get here? What is it about? What is it death? What is, and so they created 
religious systems and creation stories in order to answer that need oh, yeah. to be able to have that ability right. to pose the question. Do you understand right. what I'm saying? I do so understand what you're saying. So we have to be saying. somewhat understanding of that and also respectful of it. But at the same time, we now have an understanding, increasingly scientific understanding, of how we got to be here that does not necessarily have to include these creation stories, but we, we're rooted to a lot of those, and also the memes, the cultural memes that have gone along with them in right. terms of the power structures that emerged right. and so forth, yeah? So there's a need for, uh, it's there coming is out a need. of the enlightenment. There is a need, okay. and, 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 and it would be foolish for mm -hmm. us on my side, mm. humanist, atheist, agnostic, to say mm. that there isn't a need because there is. Uh, the the, 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 the explanation, uh, to hang your hat on yeah. something, yeah, right. to say this is who I am or this is why I'm here. Yeah. Okay, fine. I don't feel the particular need for a why am I here. Okay. We, okay. I, feel, I am how? perfectly comfortable. How? We're yeah. learning. Yeah, right. Okay. We're learning exponentially. And, and the more yeah. we learn, the mm -hmm. more we realize that the why may never be answered mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, it's like a little kid yeah. who just keeps saying why. Yeah. And you keep, you explain to him that the snowman is gone because snow melts. Yeah. Why? Yeah, right. Because, and right. Then why? And right. why? And, and That's so true, yeah. if you, and, you know, and then <laughs> in my favorite Ring Lardner line. Right, yeah. Shut up, he explained. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> okay. Or David Runyon could have come uh, up with a good I had, one. I had, I had four kids. Yeah. I have still. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. You know, and uh, yeah. quite a few times. I did, Enough of the uh, why already. Right. I did. Yeah. Lots of variations on yeah. shut up, yeah. he explained. Yeah, right, right. Okay. Uh, we, we, yeah, there is that need there. But we find, you know, the interesting thing about it, um, it we, Coincidental mm -hmm. and coeval with that, we have the development of ethical and moral ideas. Okay. But we find that some of the most, we have recently found some of the most uh, basic ethical ideas exist in other. Culture. Mammals, and no, oh, among other, mammals. Okay, other yeah. mammals, yeah, yeah, that's as right. well. Okay, okay. You, that's interesting. You, you can, you, right? Yeah. You can, yeah. right? You can get, you can do experiments with a dog, mm -hmm. not just primates, not just monkeys, even a dog. Mm -hmm. If the if the dog realizes that the game you're playing mm -hmm. is not fair, the rewards are not. Right, you know the the rewards are not going to the good dog that do, obeys. Yeah, yeah, the dog will They'll quit. They'll cop to it. Yeah, the dog will quit. Yeah, even, yeah you're right. Even you're right. if yeah. it's mm -hmm. not, if even if you're not being dishonest to that dog, but yeah. you're, even if you're being dishonest to another dog, they will. A do, a they dog will, will say, they? Yeah. "This is this they is can. a rigged game." Yeah, yeah, and will stop. Now. That's and humanity fascinating. Yeah, 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 it is. That's really absolutely is. fascinating yeah, is. Yeah, when you yeah. think about it. Yeah, huh? So we get that. Okay, so yeah. coevil with our concept, with our realization. Co do you say coevil or Yeah, I mean at the same time. At uh, Coequal. No, coevil. C O E V A L. Oh. At the same time. Okay, 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 okay. good. I'm sorry, yeah, okay, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, at the same time yes. <laughs> that we're developing, right. that we're that we're those guys back in the caves yeah. or roaming the savannas, mm -hmm. realize I'm going to die. Yeah. At the same time, they're developing ideas of what's good, what's bad, yeah. what's what's worthwhile, what's not, what's the right thing to do, what's the wrong thing to mm -hmm. do all working together at the same time, yeah. most of them said, there's gotta be something that makes all this meaningful. Because the dog, I do it just to pick a dog again, yeah, yeah. the dog doesn't the know cat. it's gonna die. Yeah, yeah. You don't, we you, know we're gonna die, yeah, and you, they knew it back then. It, it, makes a can, difference. Can we know for sure that they don't have any concept of that? I don't, or do, no, no, we're, how could, we're projecting. How could, how, yes, yeah. we're projecting, yeah, we're yeah, projecting. Yeah, yeah. but we, we have a, a unique capability to take these issues into account. Yes, 
Yeah. Yes, and and so therefore, and it's a cross to bear for many people because there's existential issues of right. justice and, yeah. what, you know, yeah, and we've yeah. we've we've developed rituals and things to deal right. with that. Yeah, but as far back as recorded history is yeah. gone, I'm not talking twelve thousand, but the eight thousand years that you're talking that you mentioned yeah. before, almost as far back as that, yeah. there have been atheist groups. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. In India, mm -hmm. the oldest civilization, yeah. really even older than than China, uh, there I, I, I forget their name. Mm. There, but there was Dravidian. actually an organized group uh -huh. yeah. that that rejected the idea of the gods. Uh -huh. um, uh, Jennifer Michael Hecht, who's wonderful uh -huh. uh, thinker, writer, yeah. um, lectured us about this. Um, two years ago for our uh, Free Thought Day uh -huh. luncheon, and I was absolutely fascinated by it. Uh -huh. But there have been atheists, or yes, most people needed that explanation uh -huh. of the whole, I call them the whole monitor in the sky uh -huh. who makes sure that we all stay in line, yeah, okay? Well, okay yeah. But there are also people at the same time who said, come on. <laughs> it, 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 you know, okay. we, we're born, we live, we die, we have some fun, have a good time, we maybe have a lousy and we time. Have we, have, we, have, we, have, we have examples of them that can be historically demonstrated, yeah, these kind of institutional yeah, structures yeah. in early civilization and so forth, you think? Right. But by yeah. and large, when you get to empires and so forth, then you want to have uh, the spiritual thing because they began to deify themselves. That's right. And they used uh, that for political power. No and question. And many of the political powers, I think uh, the Medici's liked Da Vinci because he could make a siege machine that gave him an advantage right. over the tribe in the other village so they could steal the grain and become powerful with their own Goes tribe. All the way, Real politique. Right. Yeah. All, yeah. all the way back. Uh, Jared Diamonds. Uh, Jared, Jared, Di Jared yeah. Diamonds, yeah. wonderful book, yeah. Guns, Germs, and Steel, right. where, you know, uh, where he explains <laughs> that you, or is it in his other one, mm. he, he explains the different levels of society yeah. and, and when you get past the when you get past the the, the, the hunter-gatherer society, yeah, yeah. and once the tribe going going from the tribe to the state, well, it the, came difference along. Is, mm. the difference is the difference is that now the leaders of the tribe take on uh, religious uh, uh, cloaks. Right. They become yeah. they be they become stronger, and this is where you begin to have a state. That's right. Well, yeah, and it, it was it, it came along with the Neolithic dimension of agriculture. So you had surplus, right. and you right. could have. I think civilization is literally city dwelling. So you have yeah. large agglomerations yeah. right. of population right. who can survive, and also can be survive something other than just endlessly finding something that you're going to do by wandering around and. Right. Finding a bush that has a berry yeah. you can right. eat. But the guy who led the group yeah. before yeah. because he had his biggest club and the best muscles, yeah. now... It still holds, uh, he's still Yeah, but now he's, he's... I have the biggest club and the best muscles uh -huh. because God gave them to me. Yeah, that's right. You and want to have now, some right. sort of a rationalization for the fact that you're in charge. And so it's still operative that way. Uh, the British could rule India because they had a Gatling gun rather than a musket. And it's a matter of real, it still holds, doesn't sure, it? Sure. In terms of the no way question. the world sure is organized. Oh, yeah. oh, and yeah. then it's coming like that. But then, so you have these things and they've been in support of them. And then, so we're, we're trying to understand it. But now we're coming with the enlightenment. Uh, we came out of a thousand years after Rome and so forth. The enlightenment and steam engine and industrialization and development and so forth. So that education is becoming, uh, you know, something that's available in a way to where people are able to find increase, like 50 years ago, we didn't know the way the brain worked. We didn't know neurotransmitters existed. We didn't have the genome. We didn't have right. the thing. There's coming in Niagara and Iguazu combined proportions now from every field over the transoms coming. It's like some sort of a quickening of yeah. understanding in this particular time that is characteristic of this time. So it's understandable that there are more and more people who are able to, to have a, a logical understanding, not only to the how, which you mentioned, even to the why and so forth, right. that has been uh, 
left for people like you and me to tell the kids to shut up enough already, you know? <laughs> yeah, but they're getting right. to where now they're beginning to understand it in scientific terms, and we don't have to resort to the things that had to be conjured mm -hmm. in terms of creation stories and so right. forth, but then got to be reified in those institutions, even in the architecture and everything. So we're coming up to a time of a new awakening in a certain sense, uh, coming to the end of 200,000 years. And one last thing is the weapon systems, if I'm not mistaken, and I, I've thought about it a lot, the weapon systems that gave advantage to one political power over another and spelled the relationship between the people, they've become, since about 1970, if I'm not mistaken, and I think it still holds, species lethal. Oh, we yeah. come to the end. Yeah. Second World War, we were, we were protected in our gestating impotence in terms of being able to do each other in, as they say. Right. Something's changed at this particular time, and yeah. uh, it may be that there's something on the other side. There's also progress being made. And so we're moving to a new condition uh, that can be understood in scientific right. terms, and the answers, the mysterious answers, are able to be able to be provided mm -hmm. through what uh, we have available to us now. So, hence, secularism is growing, it seems to me. No question. More and people are doing that rather than repairing to the old uh, ways that have given people a sense of identity. Right. Yeah. Hence, humanism. Hence, humanism. Mm. Now, uh, hence, humanism and atheism and agnosticism and uh, <laughs> rationalism, skepticism, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. We, in... Uh, in 1990, mm -hmm. approximately 4% of the American public said that they had no religious affiliation. What, what again figure, 1990? 1990, 4% yeah. of the American population said they had no religious as identification. As 1990, 19, and 2008, yeah. 2000, excuse me, 2010. 16 percent. Wow. Some people say uh, 17 percent. Th and that's, now, that's, the pew, no that's pew religion. research. That's yeah. not me. Yeah. That's pew research. Pew, one of the best very good, of them yeah. all. Yeah. 16 percent. That is one out of every uh, six people in America mm -hmm. has no religious that's identification. Re that's America. That's the world. That's America. That world. Now, okay, yeah. That's America, yeah, yeah. which is yeah. the most religious country in Western civilization. That's true. Yeah. And yet, one out of every six Americans says, now that doesn't mean they're humanists yeah. or atheists. Yeah. That means they simply have no identification with any yeah. religion. Well, By the way, that's not, that's, yeah. not un, that's not a, that's not uh, the record, to put it that way. It's not, not the record for America. Yeah. 1790. Wow, okay, right 1790. After the war. Yeah. yeah. The first years of the American Republic, 90% right. of the adults in America had no, were not members of any church. Well, members of any church might be different than the that, question it is posed different. by It you. is different. Yeah, yeah. But remember, yeah. you still had states in America and commonwealths in yeah, America yeah. of the 13, the original 13, that required uh -huh. attendance. That right. required, not necessarily attendance, yeah, but right. required okay, membership. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the state religion. Now all those were changed. Yeah. Um, uh, as, um, Susan Jacoby's wonderful book, Free Thinkers, is that. where I got that information uh -huh, from. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and she relied on two of the best known uh, American historians of the 20th century, James McGregor Burns yes. and I forget who the other one was, was not Hofstadter, but point is 90% yeah. of Americans uh -huh. did not belong to a church. Okay. That's 1790. Really? Okay. Well. Really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. That's but then, interesting. then, yeah. then by they were too busy by 30 years and, later, yeah. the Second Great Awakening started yeah, yeah, in America. Yeah, that's true. 20, 18, 20 or so was everything. it? Yeah. 1830, 1820s, yeah, 30s. Was the great it started awakening. rolling. Yeah. yeah. And the only thing that stopped it was the Civil War. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where people had other things to think about. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, so where do we go from here now? We're we learning go? more and more. Is it is it leading to more and more a growth of uh, skepticism toward the ancient uh, creation stories and yeah. so forth? Or it's oh, yeah. uh, being yeah. seen. Yeah. And how do we relate to those who insist upon the existence still of those? I, I just had a program with an Orthodox Jewish fellow the other day, and he informed me that the 
5,772 the year. That's the year in not, not thousand years, dimensions of one year or something. That's when the universe was created. Right, I know. Now, how can, they, I mean, it just absolutely flies in the face of anything, but people adhere to these things because their identity is wrapped right, up. Right, right. You know, and or Galileo had a telescope, we could see that we weren't the center of the universe, and it played hell with people's sense of identity. So, uh, and so they only let him off the hook, the Catholic yeah. Church, about 12 years ago. That's right. For doing that. Hieronymus yeah. Bosch made all those paintings about the anguish of, uh, of uh, that. So yeah. it's hard for people to give up on things that have their identity wrapped up in it. And so we may be going through a time now where there's a great deal of angst loose in the world. Two uh, things in relation to that. Number one, we had just a week ago, mm -hmm. one, the, not one of, the leading candidate at this point for the Republican nomination for the president, for I'm, president of the United States of America. Rick Perry. Rick Perry. Unbelievable. Said yeah. that mm -hmm. he, he, he threw off an offhand remark that as far as, uh, you know, when he, the, the discussion that yeah. he doesn't believe in evolution. Yeah. And then he said, even Galileo uh -huh. was blacklisted for a while. He was implying mm. he thinks that other scientists persecuted Galileo, uh -huh. not the church. Uh -huh. Yeah, right, right. Now, this is yeah. a man who may be president of the United States, who doesn't oh, believe in evolution. Oh, don't say that. I mean, it's hard to... I would, you know, uh -huh. in 2000, we said George W. Bush could never be never make it either. Uh, yeah, okay? okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. Mencken's great remark? I saw him on the television, oh, what was that, Mencken? They do Mencken. Never, nobody ever went broke underestimating the intelligence of the American, American people. people. Yeah, that's right, yeah, okay. that's a good one. Anyway, yeah, the hell yeah. with George Bush. Yeah. But I saw to... Mr. Perry at the Liberty thing with his Falwells thing the other yeah, day. Yeah, right. I could not believe that he was actually being seriously considered for the presidency. It seems Here's like the point. It, they, there was, I said two points, and there's a second one. Right. Even today, when you, when you said people are, are letting go of these, um, so many more people are letting go of these old stories and these old... But people cling to even, them, too. No, 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 and even maybe, even yeah, liberal, li yeah. even, not liberal even, but modern Christians, Jews, uh, 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 Muslims, and, and people of all religious oh. stripes... They say, yeah, oh, okay, fine. The, you know, the, 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 the Hindus say, okay, the universe is not in a bowl on the back of a turtle. And, you know, okay, they, 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 but still, yeah, yeah, yeah. this works for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are so many Christians and Jews that say, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, the, the world is 4 billion years old, uh, 14 billion, the universe is 14 billion years old, and we've been around for 100,000 years or whatever. But, but still, mm. this works for me. Yeah. That's not yeah. the problem we have in America yeah, tell me today. The problem. What we have, the problem we mm -hmm. have, is still that core, mm -hmm. and that core marches. That core that will not give up these stories that would prohibit your grandchildren and my grandchildren from learning about evolution in school. Evolution. I learned about I learned about evolution in. Junior high school. Yeah, yeah. It was standard. I mean, there was no question. Remember no the Scopes trial? Oh, right. Okay. He was convicted. You still have those yeah. people, uh -huh. and you and yeah. they march to the polls in lockstep. They might as well be wearing uniforms yeah. as they go to the polls uh -huh. and they vote in the primaries. If their and identity they is wrapped up in that, right. and it answers questions that are even in scientific terms we still have some answers to come up with but we're getting there we're always going to have answers we're always we going to have questions yeah. and answers yeah. that need to be but yeah. Yeah. you see we get a lot of the, the, yeah. i don't call it a movement but okay because i'm i'm out in front of of audiences uh a lot yeah i get that you know why why do you go along with the, the new atheists who are so anti-religious? Mm. Well, I do, mm -hmm. because it's yeah. not, I don't, we don't want to convert people. Mm. I really don't. Mm. If, you, if, if, if religion gets you through the night, mm. good. 
get, get you know fine. Yeah, you have But we um, have passion. the core yeah. Yeah. that is dictating that is they are They're they are the political. tail that is wagging the rest of America okay. right now. You think so? Yeah, in America uh, absolutely. particularly. You think, absolutely, yeah. yes, in America. What about the idea that you have the religious thing and everything? People have that. That's a but you also have these cultural memes or political memes. America's number one, oh, you know, wow. and the political memes by which they, yeah. uh, we're good, the world bad, where people get that identity, or even go Yankees. Yeah, I, I know. mean, they will I say, know. we're going to kill, you know, that kind of thing. I know. We've got these cultural memes by which, uh, that are not religious necessarily, it's got a political quasi-religious quality that is a meme yeah. or something that people, I'm a dyed-in-the-wool Republican, I'm a die, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. We have not only religion to deal with, but anti-intellectualism yeah. also, right. right? Yeah. I mean, that's really an enemy, yeah. is, the, is, the, uh, in, is, the, is, the, is the antipathy toward increased understanding of what it's all about is something to be questioned uh, root and branch, it right. seems to me. Uh, Except you understand? That, yes. Free thought. I mean, it's anti. It's anti intellectual. Right, but we have a long, <laughs> I want to say, honorable tradition yeah, of anti intellectualism right. yeah. in this country. It goes back to not the country, the, fact, the world, maybe, or no? Oh no, no. no, no you, country, you, but this is the country where people, yeah. for the first time, yeah. were able to speak out and yeah. say. I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Yeah. I don't agree that's with right, it. That's right. I'll true. go my way. Yeah, that's right. And that's we unfortunate. Had an empty cotton, so all we had to do was yeah, steal it from yeah. the Indians, and so then you could, yeah, yeah, right. It's yeah. Not even the mm -hmm. point. Yeah. It's the point that, you know, the, 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 the old saying that the best cure for democracy is more democracy. The point is, in this country, people have had the ability to, to speak out. It's written into the first amendment to our Constitution. Yeah. People are. And entitled to think what they want and say what they want, yeah. including the stupid yeah, people. Yeah, right. And so we have a long, long history yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And that's yeah. something we just simply have to put up with. You think so uniquely. There are people who say, Mr. Bush said they hate us because we're free. I mean, those kind of things that are quoted yeah. and are pushed out in terms of the authenticity of uh, the uniqueness of the United States. So that's a political kind of uh, narcissism that happens as well as religious. Yeah. But there is that. And then the United States, or you got a thing, you could see the United States in terms of, uh, we had a, a revolution happen in 1776 along when the steam engines come in, the industrial revolution. We set up a system, we set up a system. We called it, John Locke called it natural law. They said it's the way the universe, and they begin to apply those ideas to the universe, which it was in a position of ignorance compared to where we're coming now. Right. Okay? So they got these things set up, and then they say, we have a system that's in place, and it's good for the whole world. It seems to me Rome thought that, yeah. and the, particularly in the empire, right. and it seems to me that we're doing that. We're thinking we have a system that's yes. in place, and it's good for everybody, and if they don't follow among our memes and our political view, because we are the end of history. I mean, the Soviets imploded. We won. We're the winner. And if you're the winner in the traditional way, yeah. realize if you're the winner, you're above the law. Yeah. In terms of like war crimes, nobody who loses a war ever go. Uh, That's who, right. Except the loser goes in. Do you understand? Uh, so do. that winning, that kind of thing, it's memes that are built into right. the whole history of the human development of soci sociological, political, and religious and ethical culture, we're coming to a time of uh, qualitative transformation in a gestating pattern within the, within almost at a, almost at a level of transcendent uh, point when you can wipe out the whole species with the weapons, you get to an end point of realpolitik. We're dropping pro drones everywhere in the world now. You don't even lose anybody because we've got a system that, by God, we're going, they're going to, you know, Iraq. If you understand what I'm saying, it's not just religion, but it's also anti-intellectual and also arrogance of power. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, how do we deal with those kind of things? What? As I think it relates to humanism. We're muscle-bound. We, mm. uh, to get to, 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 to stay on politics for a minute, mm -hmm. international politics. Number one, Bush, who is not as stupid as many of us would like to think he is, mm -hmm. Um, 
Bush said they hate us for their for our freedoms because with that mask. With a straight mask, face, he tried. Because that with yeah. a straight face, yeah. because that mask, that the reality is that they hate us because we were there, yeah. because we yeah. had we we had troops in Saudi Arabia. Did you see what Ron Paul said we, the other day? Yeah, right. Did you yeah. see that piece where he said? No, I didn't, but oh, I, he, really said it, he said it before. Yeah, he, he said right, it before. He, he, he right. got it in as a soundbite with a right. huge applause line. Okay, so that, that was purely a political point that he, that he was, a, a meme he, was, he created, yeah. uh, probably without even thinking he was doing it. That meme comes from Dawkins, I think. Yeah, the, yeah. the word meme, yeah, yes, yeah, does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. We are the only, now China's coming fast, yeah. but we are the number one superpower in the world. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean much anymore. You're absolutely right. We came to a point, mm -hmm. we developed a huge war machine mm -hmm. during the Second World War, which yeah. we had to do, mm -hmm. and Eisenhower warned us about it later mm -hmm. on, yeah. but it took on a life of its own, mm -hmm. and if we had stopped manufacturing um, weapons. If weapons, we would have gone sunk into a huge depression. If we disbanded our army right now, we would have four million people more unemployed. Weapons are our major export, I yes. believe. Yeah, yes. that's our major yeah. export. Yeah, yeah. That, and that and movies. Yeah, movies. Okay, well, movies <laughs> okay. got something to say for it. All right. Yeah, but yeah, we so we we got caught up in this. Mm. However, mm -hmm. you look at the paper. Mm -hmm. Look going through the times this morning. Mm -hmm. 35 people killed in Iraq in suicide attacks. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be over. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have won that with the drones, with our huge armies, yeah. with our flamethrowers and tanks and everything else. Yeah. And yet there are still people uh, who can kill 35 at a time. Yeah, that may flare up again. It has flared up. Uh -huh. Where the, the Places I mean, big we, time it means yeah, we're, yeah, it is. It is. Mm, yeah. It's bigger time we were taking than we bundles want to admit. Of cash Here's and, the point yeah. that, I'm, that, that, that I'm trying to make here. Yeah. That the, the lion is being attacked by the ants. They're biting us to death. Okay. We, 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 it doesn't apply anymore. Uh -huh. the, 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 as you talked about, the system that is set up, this national boundary system, doesn't apply anymore. It may not. They're it's going toward ethnic identity. It does. doesn't yeah. apply anymore. It still works for us because still we've got an ocean on either side of us yeah. and two friendly countries uh -huh. on the other two sides. Yeah, right. Uh, we're dependent upon us, basically. Yeah. So we, we still, we, we're still that isolationist country that we were a hundred years and ago, we may be in also, some sense. Yeah, we all might be locked in. They used to have political and, and uh, a political and economic joined it. They have to call it a political economy. We're locked up into a situation where we're beginning to see, I even talked about it off camera a little bit, that uh, we have a capability of producing um, a great deal, but we are not able to see and distribute demand to the masses of the people. There are people who are saying Mr. Obama gave a good speech about it. They're all talking about jobs and so forth, but they're going to be in a situation, Lord Keynes warned, you're going to have technologically induced massive unemployment. The only way we have to distribute demand to the people is like all the capital assets are owned by a tiny plutocratic class in every political entity everywhere in the world. It's the interests of them only that are being served. The masses of the people, there's no way to get demand to them. We may be no man buying power to the people right. through jobs that we used to be able to do, like serfs on a feudal estate, and we can't do that now. Keynes warned about it, and so we may be coming into. Uh, they talk about a double dip at this moment in October, in October of 2011. Maybe a depression could be coming, and we don't have a system that's adequate to what the future requires well, maybe, that we're trying to impose upon the world, if you understand what I'm saying. I certainly do, but I don't think... And it think, takes you know, on a religious kind of quality right, of right. adherence to that system that's out of date with what the future requires. Right. We may be approaching Malcolm Gladwell's tipping point. Okay, a we tipping be, point of disaster, it, it could absolutely. be. Absolutely. Not yeah. forget depression. Yeah. Maybe talking collapse. Yeah, yeah. And if you get collapse and you get political collapse, you might have something that will unleash in a totally irrational way
away the weapons of mass destruction out of existential anger I, and that's, existential. That's always a possibility. You mean somebody? But we have that case. Somebody is now. somebody just is in fury. No, it presses be, the button. It would have to be something. The button of the United States, and it wouldn't come from rational. It would come from existential, uh, inoperative things going off that would get into the realm of the, and that we have that capability. Uniquely, we were protected in the Second World War. We were trying to kill each other. Firebombing Dresden, firebombing Tokyo, this kind of thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a new reality. Yeah. And we also have a capability of taking care of everybody in a unique way. But all of our assumptions are, well, there's not nearly enough. For one to win, somebody else has to lose. All zero sum. There's no, there's no vision coming from the intellectual community about an altered reality in terms of uh, the, uh, at an evolutionary level of qualitative transformation that is characteristic of this time, like leaving the womb or something on that order in terms of history. And the intellectuals are, are falling down on the job. And the intellectuals should be free to think systems and to think comprehensively about things. And they're not. They're all specialized out. So we're in trouble. And one of the things is the religion, but there are other things as well, the right. political things that reify, reestablished, outdated institutions, our architecture, everything is outdated in a sense. And we don't have vision of uh, allowing us to do what we're now capable of doing on the liberation side. It's very dangerous in that sense. We need some free thinking and humanism and, sec and, and scientific process is part of something that has to be vouchsafed and not caved into these kind of... Uh, back uh, retrogressive kind of forces let loose in the world. If you understand, I don't know. Yeah, I do, but we're getting off <laughs> humanism, aren't we? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think so. Humanism, humanism, if humanism is a very important thread of that, because I see it as humanism, anti-humanism, whatever it is in the name of the old order, it's, just, it's anti intellectualism yeah. It's an anti-intellectual thing that you have to be, and the intellectual community is eviscerating or enervating its ability to come up with some sort of a system other than all these sound bites that are in the established way of reifying the outdated institutions. I mean, it's an anti-intellectualism that we should be yes. nervous about. And what you're doing is uh, vouchsafing free thought, intellectual, yes. new ideas, and an open mind. I hope that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I yeah. hope I, I, it seems you know, to me the human. I hope that's what I should say we're doing. Yeah. Um, I <sighs> humanism is a philosophy of life. It's not a it's not a religion. It's not a belief. Mm -hmm. It's a philosophy of life. Mm -hmm. It it back in the in the earliest uh, stages. The the they they talked about humanists talked about the perfectibility of the human being. Okay. That they believed in the eventual perfectibility of the human being. Right. Well, I don't. I, I, you know, perfectibility and perfection and perfect are words that I think are of terrible semantic or? traps. Uh, human they, being or the human condition? The human being. Okay. They're talking yeah. about the human being. Yeah. yeah. Perfectibility of the human being, uh -huh. which you'd always, to me, say, who decides what's the perfect right. human being? Yeah. Do you at some point say, okay, now we're perfect, let's <laughs> yeah, stop? Right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I don't we, think we so. Have a, yeah. We are perfect, we yeah. have a perfect society, all that. Yeah. that you know. No, no. No, yeah. What we mm -hmm. what we what we have to deal with are the day to day and lifetime to lifetime questions of who we are and what we want to do next uh -huh. and what we should be doing right now. Isn't that how do we how do we change for the better? Isn't that a function of intellectual let's just call it leadership or vision? Sure. Okay. Sure, but you, 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 nothing nothing works unless unless that leadership gets something from the bottom. You you don't change society by writing a book. Uh -huh. You change society by writing a book that a lot of people want to read or or, or um, see the movie. Yeah, because <laughs> increasingly it's all okay. going into film. Right. Michael Michael Moore is launching one today. You know, after writing and everything, 
And a metaphor I could use in the term, you know, that in a human organism, just as a metaphor, there's something on the order of 100 trillion cells in a human organism. Staggering. It is. And yeah. every cell matters. And, and every, every cell, cell is, is part of a system, right. and we are part of a system. Right. So I think the perfecting of the individual is one thing in that, but the perfecting of the We've given up, by the way. By, by the way, the, 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 you, you don't see that. You don't see that phrase anymore about the perfectibility of of you. Not not of with the human instinct. being. No, we don't. That, what that, about perfection of the human institutional structure by which individuals can realize nice. Again, their full potential? Who decides what's perfect? Well, I don't know. And well, who? How is that to be decided? Is it to be decided by Should people manipulating decided? old memes? Should it be old? decided at all? Well, okay, Should anybody ahead. decide it? Should any group decide it? Yeah. Should 99.9% yeah. .9 of humanity decide it? Uh -huh. No, I don't think so. Uh -huh. What we keep yeah. doing is working towards it yeah. and knowing that we will never reach the goal. Thank you. Even if we reach the goal, even in evolutionary terms where you get to a certain point and then you go, you're then nested within still a hierarchy. The, like we were Australopithecines, four million years. We were wandering around. Then there, you couldn't see, you couldn't know, and then there came another, and then another. So we are, even if we get to a point, if we're at a point where we can wipe it out, the whole species, that's something existentially new. And if we may be at a point of transcending scarcity, which has been the context in which all human institutions I were agree. formulated and such, we may be transcending that. Nanotechnology is just over the horizon. We're getting all kinds of, uh, you know, good design that can be new materials are emerging. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of things. We could be doing that, and if we are, then we would get to that point of uh, transcending that. But even if we did, if we move to another level in terms of the universe or something, or consciousness in the universe, that would be nested within higher orders of mystery. So it's synergetic. What's higher orders of mystery? Well, it's like synergy. Bucky Fuller, who I like, you know, very much, he coined the term, or he made famous, not, no, made f on the lips of people, the term that was never used until about 30 or 40 years ago, and he would say it to a group of scientists, synergy. It's, now it's on every ad agency's lips because it fits into advertising. I had a small ad agency called Synergy. Okay, well, my own. <laughs> it's called. It's the behavior of systems unpredicted by the yeah. sum of the parts. There's something resonatingly more than the sum of the parts. So if you're on this side of that realization of an alteration in time, like you're coming to the end of the birth canal as a metaphor, you come, then you're going to be in a new. But you can't know it from inside. You can't know it from where you are. And we may be coming to a time of a new relationship, but that would even be within the, the universe is synergetic. It, it would be nested hierarchy, just as we could not know what we know now when we were Australopithecine through yeah. time. You understand? So, yes, I do. And, and we may be at that kind of a time. And by the way, mm -hmm. the ineluctable forces of evolution are going to continue to work on us while we sit here, you and I, mm -hmm. and everybody else around us, start, we think in terms of perfectibility or, or improvement of the human being. But as something I read recently, we have been in development. Just yes, We have been in development mm -hmm. for less than four billion years. Oh, but by the time, by the time, we depart the stage. Yeah. When the sun burns out. That's a long time ahead. It's a long time ahead. Yeah. yeah. What are the chances that there will still be human beings? Nil, because we yeah, will right, have, right. we will have that's developed. Good. Yeah, yeah. As as the person, well, that's what I'm saying. As sense. the person who wrote this, that yeah, I'm, that's that very I'm, good. You know, yeah. We will be no more mm -hmm. like those people than the amoeba, the original amoebas are Thank to you. us. Thank you. Thank you. It's going. You know, yeah, we're going to yeah. we're going to change. That, that's it's, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> you know, it's a so second. Where, it's a second. So where law. does that put the creation well, story? It, well, the creation story, and then that's the second law of thermodynamics. Things are thermodynamic. All systems move toward entropy. Michio Kaku, who's going to air tomorrow, as we talk, as the people view this program, is talking about uh, string theory, which is very elegant, and the, the mathematics, and there may be parallel universes to our 13.8 billion yeah. year universe with 
we maybe instantiate consciousness and a, wor a connection to another universe. Right. So it's all really, possibilities. But you couldn't have contemplated this 200,000, 200 years ago. No. Or 300. There's a there's no. a time for all things or something, and we're at a time. The least that we can afford now is a massive sort of clinging to outdated thinking in the name of anti-intellectualism. And the humanistic tradition that you, your, you, you and your organization are in is a very proud one, and it ought to be encouraged autodidactically and in all ways for us to, uh, to, to, to not cling to uh, an anti-intellectualism that's abroad and worrisome now as we look at it's it. It's always got to be... F Always got to be fought. I mean, mm -hmm. the Greek, the Greeks killed Socrates. Plato. Yeah, Socrates. Okay. Yeah. Ranked them. Um, Bruno was burned at the stake. It's mm. always, it's always around. Mm. It's never go That is never going to change yeah. because no matter how many Einsteins and Dawkins and and uh, Kakos and and that we have, we're always going to have the Yahoos. Yeah. We're always going to have them. Wait a minute, you work think so, them. yeah? You think so, yeah? Oh, of course we are. Well, then, well, because as, the, as yeah. the rest of us, yeah, as, yeah, so yeah. Let, let's, yeah. let's give ourselves a pat on the back. Oh. As, as we get to be even smarter, uh -huh. and everybody gets smarter, yeah. there's still going to be the gap between the smartest and the dumbest. Well, it's okay. always going to be. <laughs> okay, that's something to be interested. That metaphor of... At least, but wait a minute, yeah, at, least, on, talk. at least... Yeah. The most backward today, yeah. Yeah. aside from psychopaths, yeah. don't believe in possession. They don't believe in witches. They don't. They're that not sacrificing yeah. children. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we yeah, have yeah, we yeah, have come. True. You know, we're, we're, there's we're some told. progress. There's some progress. I like that metaphor you have about four billion years. That's really a good one and everything. I just like picked that. it up from some. No, you just thought about it here. I forget. You got it in peak. Okay. I think it may be in there. Well, that's really good. But I I just think it's just the most amazing time and everything. And I really congratulate you a lot on the organization and the intellectual endeavor and the open and the the commitment to having an opening on intellectual inquiry and to develop, I don't know if you get a metaphor of human organism for, uh, there are different cells, they all are part of a system. In a systems way, it's not just all the leaders and so forth like that, it's a whole system. Right. It's a whole system thing that gives the residency of the whole system. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that idea about there's just some leaders, everybody's not going to be Einstein. Or yeah. something, doesn't necessarily hold. If you understand, right. there are people who are good at all levels, but that there's a system. Can I squeeze in a plug here? Please because do, by all means. You only we're inviting things, you. We're inviting you mm. to speak at our Free Thought Day brunch yeah. next month. I'll be happy to do and, that. Uh, like. got, and we got um, 23rd, is that right? The, no, the 16th. 16th. 16th of October. Okay. And uh, anybody who wants to know about it, it will be on shsny.org. Uh -huh. And if I may throw in a plug here yeah. for your audience, uh, Secular Human Society of New York has an event every week of, every week of the month. Uh -huh. We have a movie night. Uh -huh. We have a book club. We have a Sunday brunch. Every, regular Sunday brunch every month, and we have something we just started very recently called Great Lectures. There are now so many great lectures available on DVD. Wonderful. We do. Wonderful. We, we get together, we watch an hour of a, of a lecture, and then 15, 20 people, sometimes 40 people, mm. um, sit around and discuss. What'd you Wonderful. think? Wonderful. Wonderful. That's and, a good thing. That's and a very I hope good more, thing. I hope more of your people, uh, your your probably very intelligent audience uh, will uh, uh, come to us as well. I would like to think there's some intelligence people would be interested in it, cause it but I also think it's intelligence that can increasingly be understood by people who aren't necessarily so intelligent, no, but no, they no, can no. understand yeah. Oh, yeah. and they yeah. can be brought in. That's yeah. what I like. To Democratic. Yeah. I like yeah. the idea of yeah. democracy in that. Anyway, thanks for that. I'm sorry we run out of time. Uh, no, this great. will all we've lost the last couple of minutes, but no, last minute or so. Okay. But it'll all be up on YouTube and we'll all be right. putting this up by tonight on okay. YouTube. Your pleasure. John Rafferty, president of the Secular Humanist Society of New York, there it is, with a very interesting website, very well done. And he's the editor also of the very interesting newsletter, uh, Peak. And you can see he's got a very interesting take on things, and we thank you for viewing. 
Uh, we'll be coming back again tomorrow. And, John, once again, thank you very much. I hope Delighted to be, be here. Thank you. hope this you. is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I like, hope so. uh, <laughs> like the <laughs> like end Rick of Casablanca. Like Rick and uh, what's, Louis. What's